O oh woman, who protects you on this ground, in this place that is so hard and unforgiving? Did your mother feed you? Did she know to handle you like a fragile and precious gift? Did she check to make sure you had everything? Is your sister the one who really knows you? The one who will challenge you when you are full of it? And <laughs> greet you with kindness if you are weary and afraid? Does your daughter know to bring you water when you are thirsty? Does she help you move fearlessly through uncertainty? Does she make you be your best self when she looks into you and sees her own eyes? Will your lover take you on crazy spiral roller coaster rides and bring her love to you when you are open? Will she sing? Do your friends stand beside you and offer food and shelter without expecting anything? Can your aunts worship with you, give you words when you can't speak? Will you bring your nieces to walk with you when you are off balance? Will they guide you when you have lost your way? Does your grandmother forgive you when you fall and hold you close when you are followed, swallowed up inside yourself and wrapped in grief? Who are these women? Where are these women? Are these women inside of you? Are these women inside of me? When I look to the women around me, I see everything. Do you see these women? Do you hear them when they speak? And is there a place where women can go when nothing is clear, when we are weak? When we are done being busy with the business of getting things done, of doing everything all the time for everyone? Oh, woman, who will protect us down here, right now, on this earth? Oh, woman, did you eat today? Did you cook? Did you clean? Did you make a big mess and leave it all in the sink? Are you happy enough to leave the house, or did you make too many mistakes again that are playing over and over like a loop with sounds, lights, and sirens inside your head? Oh, woman, are you PMSing again? <laughs> oh, woman, did someone tell you to smile? Did someone tell you to shut up, to just sit down and look pretty? Did someone tell you to close your legs? Oh, woman. Are you just too much to take again? Are your nails done? Did you wane those hips? Did you wax those hairs above your lip? Did someone say, ooh, cha, what were you thinking going on inside your head? What were you thinking with that color lipstick? Did you forget all that and throw on some yoga pants and just jiggle it? Oh, woman, you are such a trip. You make me dance, you make me sweat and regret. You make me cry and wish and live in fantasy and do it over and over and over again. Oh, woman, I need you. I need you right here, right now, in this place. Reach for me, protect me. Steady me when my foot slips. O oh, woman, you were the one who told me to look up. You who told me in the dark dawn of that hospital room to dry my eyes, to lift them. Woman, you were the one who told me to lift my eyes, to look up. And I did, and when I did, I saw the gleam of the isolates and incubators against the walls around us, and with that one glance, my eyes were dried. You, woman, healer, you knew what to tell me, knew what to say, knew how to guide, you 
new? And was it your years of practice in the hard art of healing? Was it your years, your wisdom, or was it the light you hold inside, the light unextinguished by the deaths you must see, by the mother's, the father's tears, by the soft last breaths breathed while the rough hills connoting life smooth to flat lines. The birth had been hard for her and for me, the blood on the floor, the delivery room suddenly flooded with gloved strangers ready to cut, to clamp, to suction, to save. Fetal distress was the name they gave. The father who would catch her pushed aside so they could pull her from me, born into this world, clothed in my blood. And now, in neonatal special care, holding my sleeping daughter in my arms, I, exhausted, finally wept. Wept for the pain of having believed we had almost lost her. Wept for the fear of still not knowing, no diagnosis, the fever, the heat of her pressed against me, my dark-haired infant flame. Woman, healer, oh woman, you. Was it the light in you reaching out to the light in me? Was it the God in you speaking to the God in me? Just look at her, you said. See how pink she is, how healthy. That's one healthy baby you're holding. Now look up, you said. Look at them, at the other babies, the ones so small you could cup them in your hands, the ones under glass with white discs stuck to skin so thin the skin's color was impossible to tell, the color, their color, the dark red of arterial blood. The pity of it, oh, the pity, my heart broke open. Oh, fragile life, oh, children of ours, the children who belong to us all. Did they live? Did they thrive? Did they grow up to be her schoolmates, her friends? Are they the Asian girls with blue-black hair or the blonde white girls in torn white jeans? Or are they the boys, the dark-skinned boys, like her dark-skinned friend, the one who marched for justice and was told to kneel on the bridge, hands laced behind his head, the blued eye of the service revolver dead level with his? Oh, woman, you dried my eyes with a touch of your words. You lifted my eyes, lifted me, helped me to see, helped me to love, to mother, to rise, to rise up, to become a woman like you, one of the many practiced in the hard art of love, of radical love, of the love that says to others, lift your eyes, lift them, rise, rise up, ascend. Erica Hunt, who is ill, sends her words. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where will my help come? God sends help from many directions. My, our help comes in varied packages. In a friend with a plan, creating calm in the chaos, making heaven and earth, the water and sky rise in orderly ranks. In a woman who sings in a voice made of glass, so clear you can see your sh soul shimmer. In a woman who sings in a voice of broken glass, so fragile you can see lights split hues through its cracks. A woman who runs into burning buildings, who lives to save lives at the point of peril. A woman who parses sentences for energy to look for herself and for us in the burning house of patriarchal language. A woman who makes sandwiches and fills bags for the hungry from a heart of compassion. A woman who trains her body to be steel, iron, and granite, and her spirit to float 
weightless wedding endurance with selflessness. A woman who never stays still, never pauses until the ends blur, never breaks until the fog lifts, does not understand spiral, only revolution. A woman who turns luminous tatters and split chatter into mouthfuls of song, poems that drift, that change your mind to listening to them. A woman who coaches stillness to survive ruin with patient attention and expectant grace. A woman who makes you laugh first thing in the morning. No overcast day could withstand such sunshine. <clears throat> So, blessed is the woman who hears God in small talk, a laugh, a late night phone call. Blessed are the women who build institutions, making a place for comets to blaze and brilliance to light up the corners. Blessed is the woman who tends to the ancestors' graves, who listens to them and tells their stories. Blessed is the woman who seeks to break the codes of whiteness, to draw our attention to humanity's broken faucet. Blessed is the enthusiast, the volunteers who build our best artists and writers' collaboratives. Blessed is the woman who lives in her head who, or who lives in the world and who lives unafraid. Blessed are the mothers who are themselves childless, and pour out mother love to the motherless in the world. Blessed are the women who fight for just wages and fights for 15. Blessed are the women who hear me and recognize words to describe someone in their circle as the angel God sends to help us get it right, to do and be the light, the light the world cannot overcome.